Hey guys, this video is going to be about uh, how to upgrade uh, your ANET A to uh, Skynet uh, firmware and how to uh, change uh, G codes as well and firmware codes, firmware codes to make it work with your uh, V6 uh, hotend. First thing you have to download the, um, the file that I'm going to put in the video description and that's going to be uh, Skynet uh, firmware with all these files inside. When you download uh, the package, you're gonna uh, you're gonna extract the the package, of course, and you're gonna end up with these files from here till here. The next thing you have to do is you have to uh, extract these files, you know, this uh, folder as well as this folder, Skynet, if you don't have your Cura already. So click here extract the files, save whatever, whatever you want to save, I save it in the same folder and when you end up like this then you're gonna go to the Arduino, open up and double click on Arduino. So, run it, you're gonna get this window, then we have to browse where our Skynet software is, so you get file open, you browse to the Skynet uh, folder, next find Skynet file, Skynet 3D version 1.1 alpha, click on open, you can maximize this window, next thing we have to change not too much, just a little bit, first thing we need to you make this working with your printer. Now you have to start your printer, put the USB cable into the computer, turn on your printer and wait for the sound, you know, window sound when you recognize something. Then you have to go to the, your start, device manager and you're gonna go to the ports and you're gonna see what serial port your printer is. Mine is number 9. So then we came back here, go to the tools, port, and you select your port. Mine is number nine. I have, I don't know, like a 12 USBs, USB port, so you, you have to select yours. Then you go to the board and you select a version one. Then you go to the programmer and you select this second one. And then double check it. Everything should be nice, so port programmer and this is it the next thing is we have to go to the configuration file and here we have to um, make sure that we found the setting that is called um, travel limits after homing so click on control F and write define X enter find next find next this is it this codes travel limits after homing what does this code do when you want to print something after when your printer go to your home and that means zero on every access this is gonna say uh, where your nozzle is in your printer so he knows wha what are the limits after it so you have to change these codes copy in mine all right next thing is what you can do you can go straight to the upload button and what this will does it uh, is going to upload to your printer and flash your firmware you can change uh, printer name if you want wait a second uh, if I remember correctly this is it so under the configuration file dot h you can scroll down i don't know till maybe maybe two page and you're gonna find define this to set a custom name for your genetic model this is still skynet 3d so i just put here my version by next you can put any name that you want it's up to you but not so much long if you put uh many 
characters you can uh, upload can fail. All right. All right. Next thing is you have to open your Cura. It can be, you know, Cura 15.04 or can be 2.3. It doesn't matter. Everything is the same. And under the under the G code, you have to put same code like mine, and you have to add this line right here, which will make your printer start exactly in the center. If you don't put this code, your printer will be not aligned perfectly, and it can print, you know, more left or uh, exactly in the middle of the hotbed. So this is a code that I measure myself. And for me, this is like uh, in one millimeter perfect. If you came, if you came back with better measurements, let me know in a comment so I can make an improve. But this is this is working very nice now, and uh, I made a couple of uh, tests, you know, with auto with uh, bed leveling, and all the lines was was perfectly measured on every forward side. So this is it. Copy this G code into the start code, and this will work without problems. End code. This is my end code same so this is it this is how to change the codes and um, and how to add uh, the firmware to it so after when you change these couple of lines just go to upload wait a couple of minutes your, your printer will reboot and you're gonna see on the on the printer skynet 3d ready easy peasy by the way cura settings is uh, pretty much the same so uh, I didn't put, you know, uh, so much changing into the codes beside my standard settings. So you can, you know, start to, you know, uh, do experiment. Do you need some more filament or less? Uh, but for my, for me, it's the same. Print speed and filament speed. It's for for now is the same. So th this is it. How to flash your Anet A8 or how to uh, change the G codes to make it work with V6. Pretty easy. If you like this video thumbs up if not leave me the comments so i can prove next time take care and bye bye